Hey, hey, uh, so uh, thanks for joining us. Here we are getting ready to run six miles as we continue our training for our half marathon in about uh, five weeks. Uh, you'll notice we're in the car again and layered up again because it is, I, I can't say still freezing outside because it actually was a beautiful week, but now it's back to freezing. But it's okay. In two days, it'll be 85 degrees. I know. I know. Right now, it's 37. We woke to uh, 27 degrees, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, because mm -hmm. that's yeah, what happens. Yeah, whatever. So we're cold, and I, I got to be honest, I really don't feel like running today, but we have to. So we're going to do it. Uh, and we have some things to talk about, uh, and we want to share them with you. So uh, stick around. We're going to have some footage, and then we'll have a recap. Thank you so much, man. Nothing like running on a really cold day. Yeah. <laughs> so we're waiting for our bodies to warm up. What is going on? Hasn't happened yet. A little chilly. <laughs> All right, we've uh, reached a halfway point. So three more to go. We'll finish our six. And uh, we we'll... warmed up. Yeah. I'm very sweaty under here. Afraid to take it off though. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's cold. It's cold. Some cold sweat. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. I just happened to be able to act like I will. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> welcome back. Here we are. <clears throat> we just came in from a six mile run. A cold one. It was really cold. A very cold uh, one. Like we said in the uh, uh, video when we were getting ready to head out, uh, we woke up to 27 degrees. We ran, it was probably... It was, it was 37 by the time we left. So mm -hmm. it was actually, by that point, five degrees warmer than when we took Millie for her first post-surgery walk. Yes. Thank you very much, everybody, for your uh, uh, kind words and thoughts. Millie She's is doing great. so much better. Uh, her inflammation has gone down. We can see the suture. She goes in Tuesday to have uh, the stitches, the taken stitches out. removed, and hopefully she'll get out of her cone hopefully. of champions. We are now calling her Conan the Barbarian. Conan the Barbarian. She's a total destructo with that yeah, thing. She She's looks, taken out walls. She's taken out me. F you, me. <laughs> but she's everything. Good. She's scraped the walls. She's, she's scraping the good. floor. Yeah. And she she seems to really like it actually. Yeah, that's weird. She asked to have us put it on her. So. She's very good. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. So thank you. Right Millie's doing great. Uh, the run today was good. Um, <clears throat> a little background on it though. Uh, you know, we ran in our favorite park today, and it's the same park that we ran last week. But last week's run started in the park and then immediately left, and we ran streets, uh, roads, and then finished in the park. Anyway, uh, park's really nice. Uh, so backing up a little bit, you know, I injured myself when I slipped and fell on the ice. So I listened to 
In-house doctor. In-house doctor. And I called my doctor, made an appointment, went to go see my doctor uh, to look at my knee because it was bothering me. He thinks it's uh, soft tissue damage, uh, possibly maybe uh, tore a little bit of muscle or some inflammation. But he said um, uh, that it should get better and I didn't have to uh, stop running as long as uh, it didn't hurt while I was running. So uh, it didn't really. I'm like, does it hurt? And you're like, no. Uh -huh. it, just, <laughs> it just feels Question weird, mark? right? So there's like inflammation and then, you know, it kind of feels like when you have a really tight muscle that it feels like you're gonna like pull. It kind of feels like that. Anyway, so it, it, it wasn't uh, bad news. Yeah. And he doesn't think it's like, you know, a ligament or, yeah, or tendon or, or like I, you know, blew the, my knee you know, or anything. The joint thing, yeah. yeah. Though he did say that if it if it doesn't get uh, considerably better in a couple of weeks, uh, he'll send me in for imaging. So hopefully we don't have to worry about that because in five weeks, ice cream, ice, ice cream run, ice cream, ice cream run. They and again, a, go ahead. Go. No, no, you go for it. So I uh, follow a social media page for <laughs> this run, and they had a picture of my favorite flavor. My favorite bluebell flavor, pecan pralines and cream. How do they phrase it? It's like pralines and cream. Yeah. I think there's pecan in there somewhere though yeah. in the title. Oh, it's so good. And so I'm, I'm really excited that they call out my favorite flavor. <laughs> All you care to Which eat. Which I will be eating in five weeks. Yeah. Uh, so. There's that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, uh, hopefully, hopefully we can try to get back into running every day. Again, I need to ice my yeah, knee. We just got back. I need to ice my knee, uh, see how it's going. It, it is a little, a little swollen, but, you know, it, I don't know. Have it's we just... said before we ran? We ran six miles today, which is nothing to like, yeah. it's a cough at. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty decent good. sized run. Yeah. Um... Is that the furthest we've run since mm -hmm. we got back? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So it's since marathon good. day. It was good. And the times weren't bad. I mean, it was so cold this morning. Yeah, Our first mile was, was like so slow. Uh, yeah. I couldn't feel my lips. I'm trying to talk. It was very you cold. Know? <laughs> my finger didn't work on the camera. And I'm like, Argh. Yeah. So we were playing the game in the car of like, okay, we know it's really, really, really cold outside. <laughs> we're going to be out here for an hour. What's the temperature going to be like when we finish? What does it actually feel like now? Like how many of the layers that we brought with us do we need to wear? Uh -huh. And ultimately I dropped my windbreaker uh -huh. and my gloves. You dropped your skull cap and your gloves. Uh -huh. I took off my hat for like half of the run, but then I got cold and I had to go back on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, it was weird. It was, I mean, by, by the end of the run, I was comfortable, but then, you know, I got in the car and I cooled off. Yeah. And now I'm freezing. Yeah. My hands are so cold. I know, right? <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, there's that. Like? But the big news. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Tuesday was a big day. It, it was a big day. Uh, and not just because it's Valentine's birthday. Right. St. Valentine. Uh, what? Uh -huh. To us, it was Tuesday. We registered for the Disneyland Half Marathon. We got in, yeah. we got in. We didn't think, you know, honestly, we did not think we were gonna get in. No. Uh, and the no. registration process was, again, a uh, Mickey Mouse affair. What is this Mickey Mouse operation? It was. It was, um, it wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad as the marathon as registration, um, but it did open late. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of sitting there and like, I gotta get to the office. No, we gotta no, get no. to a meeting. Like we're like. No, actually it started with Oh yeah, I did get in right at, what was it, nine o'clock? Nine, nine o'clock. And um, it told me it was sold out. I'm like, that doesn't seem right. And I got in <laughs> at nine and it said uh, opening soon. So we were like, what yeah. is going on, right? So then at 9.30. I, uh, I feel like it was earlier than it was, that. It was, it was. So, like 15, I think it was like 15 yeah. minutes before it Then it switched real. open to register now. So then I hit it and it said, you know, you, you're sent to a virtual queue. Your approximate wait time is over oh, an hour. hour. Uh, and then the odd thing, again, this is just me kind of ranting. The You get into the virtual queue and it says, regardless of when you get, uh, got in the queue, 
you will be chosen randomly to register. So, okay. I mean, it feels a little weird. You you yeah. make you you, you <clears throat> make robots that look human for the parks, but you can't figure out how to make a registration process online work smoothly. That's just me ranting. Whatever. We anyway, got in, though, we so. got in. We, we didn't think we, we would. Got in, we, did. we got registered. So, and it's, what's interesting is that we had so many contingency plans for if we don't get in. Yeah. And if I'm honest, I was kind of looking forward to the contingency yeah. plans, but that's okay. We'll we'll do them on another year. But yeah, yeah, yeah. but this year yeah. we're gonna try out the Disneyland half marathon for yeah. the first time. We've never run at Disneyland. Yeah, ever. Uh, yeah. And and here's the deal: the Disneyland half marathon is one week after the Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend. So... So we're still gonna try for that. Yes. We're definitely going. We have our room books. Yeah, we, so... We actually have our room booked for so Disney we're going. World. But now it's like, well, we're gonna try to register. Let's see if we get in. And yes, if we do get yeah. in, what can we get? But we'll, we'll still... We're still gonna be there. Yeah, our backup plan for that is if we don't get in, we'll be there and we'll go cheer everybody on every day. We'll take our... We gotta... They're still over here. Here, here's a clicky. Let's practice. If we don't get in, we'll be there. Ready to go. Yeah. But hopefully yes. we will get in. Yes. And then uh, the reality of the entire uh, decision is starting to set in. Uh, that means we, a lot of we, we have to get ourselves there to Florida, <laughs> and then we're going to have to get ourselves from Florida to California, and then we're going to have to get ourselves home. That's going to... It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's an adventure. It'll be fine. Yeah. It's always an adventure. So, uh, so anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, and then we're also, just as a reminder, we are definitely going to try to uh, sign up for Wine and Dine in November of this year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and again, because the registration process is kind of a, uh, what did you call it again? A Mickey Mouse operation. <laughs> Who knows? Literally. But that's what we're going to do. Um, uh, so now all of these things about, well, what are we going to wear for the run? Oh, geez. And, That's like three runs to come up with. You yeah. guys know how long it takes us to come up with one I know. costume. You know, come so up with the idea and make it. So. Send us your ideas. Mm. You know, I, I would, it would really help. It, it really would, okay. right? We got a lot yeah. to figure out. Yeah. We could we could still recycle. We, we um, oh, started. Yeah. We're, so we signed up for Wine and Dine in 2020, which... Um, of course, went virtual, so we didn't get to go. But we had planned to do Vanellope von Schweet and Turbo. Turbo. <clears throat> so I bought some, like, leggings that are, like, the Vanellope leggings. And that's as far as my costume got, was just leggings. Um, I bought a white cap. And you bought a white cap. <laughs> that's as far as <laughs> I got. And you happened to have white running shoes at the time. Yeah, I did. So we could revive that one for Wine and Dine, because we were trying to think of, like, food type things yeah. so that was that was what we came up with for that one was yeah it's like well I'll, I'll go as a, a piece of broccoli and you'll go as tofu or something I don't <gasps> know. oh man i love tofu and broccoli <laughs> So, so yeah, so awesome. send, send us send us some ideas. You know? Yeah, we're lost. It's yeah. gonna we gotta start thinking. Now oh, and let us know if you're gonna be there, or if you or if you're gonna try to be there too, because we would love to see you. We'd love to hang out. All that really cool stuff. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? So here we are in February, and we're already uh, like feeling uh, like we're rushed behind for a year from for, you know yeah in January. But it's gonna yeah. be crazy. It's gonna be a crazy January. It's going to be sure crazy. Well, it's going to be a crazy. Well, actually, I think the whole year is going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a lot going on. Yeah, we do. Huh? Yeah. Let us know how you're doing. Uh, and, you know, he here's your deal. Mm -hmm. If you haven't, please subscribe. Hit notifications. We do our best to upload every week. And we really, really like to hear from you and uh, find out what you're doing. So hopefully uh, things will be uh, going smoother than they have been. It was a crazy month last week, uh, and the uh, effects of it are still kind of lingering. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, but again, thank you for uh, sending uh, positive vibes uh, our way for uh, Millie Dog. She is very grateful, and she is doing much better. She's doing great. Uh, hopefully, she'll be out of her uh, cone of champions I'm soon. I'm really hopeful that when they take the stitches out, they, they say she's good to go. Mm -hmm. If 
I think she's gonna miss it, but I, you know. They'll probably leave it on her because uh, she, she has a uh, she has a red flag on her file. She uh, she's kind of a biter. So. Oh yeah, they'll leave it when she's there. But <laughs> yeah. maybe we can take it off yeah, when she gets home. Yeah. She's just very. What's the right word? Particular. Particular. <laughs> Particular about who I she hangs out with. I love that dog so much, <laughs> yeah. but she hates the world. <laughs> yeah. Except for us. Yeah, except for us. Yeah. 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 You're my girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's always an adventure with you. We'll see you next week with more updates, more info, and more fun. <laughs>